Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to Too Blessed. Today I'm going to be working on this wreath. I'm going to show you first sort of the materials I'm working with and then we will get started putting it together. Um, probably not going to be on camera today because it's been a rough week and I'm tired. <laughs> so we're just going to go with this. So my base is going to be this twig wreath that I bought from Hobby Lobby. I actually bought it a couple weeks ago. I ordered it online and I was able to use a 40% off coupon. And you can see it's kind of lopsided, like this side is really thick, that side is really narrow. But I think by the time I get everything on there, I don't think you will notice that. So hopefully we'll be able to disguise that a little bit. So first of all, this was the inspiration for my wreath. This is letter of our last initial and one of my sisters made this for me for Christmas and she has one that she made for her house and she just has it hanging on the door just by itself and it looks beautiful and I, I like that that's actually what I was intending to do but the door that I wanted to hang this on is our back door that comes into our kitchen and it has a window in the door and so I didn't have a way to hang it flat on the door without it banging against that window every time we open and close the door. So I came up with the idea of using it on a wreath. And of course I had to get a pretty large wreath to fit this, but I think it's really gonna work. So the W is gonna go somewhere in here, kind of on the thicker side of the wreath that'll help camouflage that a little bit. And what I did is I got some of these little brackets that you use with zip ties. My zip ties have fallen out, so I have to replace those. But um, I put two up here, then I put two down here towards the bottom. So I think that's gonna be, cause this is pretty, you see that's pretty thick wood, it's pretty substantial. But I think that will be enough to secure that. And then the ribbon that I'm going to use, let me pull this plastic off real quick. I should have done that already. I can't find the end of it. <laughs> there it is, okay. This is actually the same ribbon that I used on a wreath that I made for our front door. I love this ribbon. It's kind of a burlap um, material, so it's not exactly white, but it works. Once I make it into a bow, it looks really pretty. So um, I will link in the description box to the video where I made that other wreath if you're interested in seeing it. Um, they're gonna end up being somewhat similar. The other wreath is mostly blue and white. This one is gonna lean more towards a yellow and white with just a few touches of blue. So I, I think that's gonna work really nicely because my kitchen is yellow with blue and white accents. So as you come in that door and then into the kitchen, it'll kind of blend together with the decor. And then let me show you some of the flowers I'm gonna be using. These flowers I ordered from Michaels online because I haven't been able to get out to a craft store or anything like that before everything got shut down. So um, these flowers, I am a little bit disappointed because online they called them blue. <laughs> and then when I got them, they're pretty clearly not really blue, they're purple. They look blue on their own, but then when I put them up against this blue, they're, they're very obviously purple. So in all honesty, I may or may not use these. I'm just gonna kind of wait and see how everything looks together. Um, my other option is to just put the wreath together and then at some later point when I can get access to some blue flowers, I might add some blue in. So then what I got was these white hydrangeas, which are really pretty. And I also got, sorry, I'm reaching behind me to get these. I also got a bunch of daisies. Daisies are one of my favorite flowers and I have lots of daisies in my kitchen. So those are gonna go in there really well. And then I got these little, I think they just called them, I can't remember for sure, seeds or something like that, but they're yellow these little bunches. And so I think that'll be really pretty to add in some of the yellow. Um, and then I have a couple of different greenery options. This one I ordered 
from Michaels with the flowers. Um, this is a little bit of boxwood. It, again, <laughs> ordering things online for something like this is really difficult because it looked online, it looked like it was big flat pieces and instead it was this little short bunch. So, you know, it's gonna work, that's fine. It's just not exactly what I was expecting. And then I actually have these two bunches, which I had bought at Walmart a couple of months ago, like right after Christmas. Um, and so these are really pretty. And I don't know, if, again, if I will use these or not. Then I also have some other yellow flowers that I might or might not add. So it's going to be a surprise how this ends up. So I'm going to get started. And what I like to do is kind of get my flowers and things cut apart and sort of lay things out. Then once I decide how I want it, that then I'll start gluing the flowers in place. So I will be back in a minute to show you what we're working with.
there is the finished wreath. It's kind of late in the evening now. <laughs> so I will get some pictures tomorrow once it gets light out and show you some better pictures of what it looks like. But that is the finished wreath. Okay guys, it is actually a couple of days later because the day after I hung this wreath, the next morning we came out to discover that the letter had fallen off because those little brackets that I bought that were sticky on the back were not strong enough to hold this in place. So I had to go back and kind of redo it a little bit. Um, I took the little brackets and I hot glued them to the back of the letter and then I discovered that there were little tiny holes in the brackets. So I also got some tiny little nails and you just used those to hold the brackets in place. So now I think we are good. <laughs> it seems very sturdy now. And I don't know if you can tell from the clip right before this, but my W is kind of tilted before I had it sort of straight up and down. And now it's tilted and I actually really like it that way. At first, when I noticed it was crooked, I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to redo it. But now that I've hung it up, I think it looks kind of cute. So that is it. Um, oh, and then I also added this little tail here. I had a piece of ribbon left over and it wasn't really big enough to do anything else. So I just kind of let it hang down as uh, little tails. They're kind of like hanging together, but there's two, two tails. The goal was to kind of have it separated. I'll have to work with it a little more, but... Um, I'm still going to go ahead and add a couple of still pictures so you can see the whole thing a little bit better. But that is all I have for this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.